Enphase just announced that it's going to be releasing its very own bi-directional EV charger. What does that mean for people that are looking for solar plus battery storage options for their home? We're going to be answering that question and telling you all about it in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find expert reviews of solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, as well as interviews with top solar industry professionals to make sure that you have the most up-to-date industry information. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects and one of the things I'm most excited about as far as new solar and storage technology that's on the horizon, and that is vehicle to home or V2H battery technology. And specifically, we're talking about Enphase, which as you all probably already know, Enphase is the, is the leading microinverter manufacturer for residential systems here in the United States that Enphase is going to be offering their own bi-directional vehicle charger. Now, one of the reasons why this is so exciting, you know, if, if you've been following the solar plus storage space for a while, one of the things that you know is that, you know, in general, batteries tend to be very expensive. You know, if you're talking about a home backup battery, whether it's Tesla, Enphase, Franklin, Generac, I mean, none of them are really what you would call cheap. And so if you're just looking at the numbers and you're looking in terms of cost per kilowatt hour, being able to utilize an electric vehicle battery allows you to drive your cost per kilowatt hour down. Uh, some cases can drive it down, you know, 25% of what it would be to buy a comparable home backup battery. So this idea of being able to use your electric vehicle battery to provide or, or to serve in that home backup battery role is something that's very, very exciting to me and I think for many of you out there as well because um, it's a way that you can potentially achieve a whole house backup, uh, especially if you're somebody who's already planning on or maybe you already have made the investment in purchasing an electric vehicle. Uh, it's a way that you could achieve now a whole house solar battery backup without having to dump an extra $20,000, dollars 40000 into buying a separate home battery system. So anyway, Enphase has announced that they're going to be offering their bi-directional vehicle charger starting next year in 2024. And although we don't have all the details yet, here's what we know so far. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. Now based on the schematic that Enphase has shared with us, you can see that the Enphase EV charger includes integrated internal microinverters and that it presents itself to the rest of the home energy system very similar to the way the Enphase uh, N-Charge or the Enphase IQ batteries do today. Uh, in other words, it will present an AC power source to the Enphase IQ system controller, essentially saying, hey, I'm another battery here. And then the system controller can decide how that battery storage is used. Is it used to store excess solar? Is it used to provide backup power into the house? Uh, or even potentially is it used to supply excess power back to the grid if you're in an area where you can take advantage of, of exporting to the grid from your battery. So let's talk about those, those few different modes in, the, in, in more detail now. So the first mode, and, and what's probably going to be the most popular for you watching this, is the vehicle to home battery backup mode, right? So this is being able to use energy that's stored in your electric vehicle battery to provide secure power into your home 
during a grid blackout. Now what that means is that if the grid goes down, the microinverter system will form its own grid, its own mini grid, allowing both the solar and the microinverters to energize into the house if it's daytime and if there's solar power available, um, and allowing the battery to produce its own signal using the internal microinverters and also present voltage into the house to power loads within the house. So this could be your solution for your whole house battery backup, vehicle to home backup. Now, the second function is what we call green charging. Uh, and, and that's really kind of a lot of marketing speak. Really, all that means is the ability to charge your electric vehicle directly from solar. You don't necessarily have to pull from the grid. You can take output coming off your microinverters on the roof and feed directly down into your electric vehicle battery for so-called green charging. So that's nice as well. You know, you know we talk about being self-sufficient and being, you know, being able to provide for our own energy needs. It's really nice to be able to take solar directly off your roof, solar electricity that you're generating on your home or, or say you're collecting and harvesting on the roof of your home and being able to charge that into your battery. And that's what's powering your commute is this clean energy that you've produced on your own. And then the third function is what we call vehicle to grid or V2G. And that's the ability to export stored energy in your battery to the grid depending on what your situation is, you might be able to actually profit from that type of an arrangement if the grid is, is in, a, in a time of peak demand where they're willing to pay you and, and perhaps even pay you a, a, a good premium for any extra energy you can provide onto the grid during peak hours, the system can be programmed to discharge the vehicle battery and send that excess energy into the grid. So we're very excited to hear and to learn more about what Enphase is going to be doing with their bi-directional vehicle charger. So we're going to be covering this product very closely this year, and we hope to catch up with the team at Enphase when we go to the InterSolar North America conference in Long Beach, which is coming up in about 10 days here. So we'll hope to learn more about it there. Now, what, what I can infer from the information that's been released is that there will be some work needed on the side of the electric vehicle manufacturer to enable this, this functionality. It's not something, at least as far as what I can tell from the information published, it's not something that's going to work off the shelf today with the electric vehicles the way they are today. So I suspect there's gonna be some kind of a firmware update or some sort of a modification to the electric vehicle charging port to allow for that bi-directional flow. But in theory, all the parts that you need for V2H are here. The electric vehicle battery, the interface, the tie-in with the IQ system controller. So we're very, very excited to see where Enphase goes from here. As far as which brands of electric vehicles are going to uh, interoperate with Enphase, again, we don't know that for sure yet, but I would, I would presume that it's going to be most of the top brands like Tesla, General Electric, Rivian, Volkswagen, Lucid, uh, and a number of the other brands that have already said that they're gonna be supporting some type of vehicle to home battery technology. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video announcement. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish new videos like this one, it'll come up on your feed and you can keep up to date with all the latest news. Um, of course, if you are a homeowner and you're in the process of looking at solar and battery storage options for your home, um, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe if you already have a price quote, but if you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the best equipment and getting the best pricing, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, have a quick Zoom call with one of our experts, and we'll get some numbers and some information for you. Well, folks, I thank you for sharing some more time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.